Sleep well? Like a baby. Say, what kind of activities and stuff you got here on Okoto? You got any movie theaters? What? Really? What about concerts? You gotta have concerts. No, we don't have that. Starbucks? Good God, how do you people survive? Well, we have Hammer Flush. It's a sport. Oh, sweet. Is there a game going on today? Uh, there might be. I can take you down to the stadium if you want. Lead the way. Yeah, let's go. What's the matter, Ghosty? What? Nothing. I'm fine. Why would you think I'm upset? You're sitting over here all by yourself and I haven't heard a single tap to scare anyone yet. So something must be wrong. Oh, well, can I ask you something personal? Yeah, of course. How intimate are you and Kasai? Uh, why, why would you want to know? Camellia is kind of, well, scared, I think. Scared of getting close? Yeah, I tried to hold his hand once and he just freaked out and pulled it away really fast. Every time I try to hug him, he gets stiff and awkward. I don't think I've ever even heard him say, I love you. He hugged me once, but it was more like a friend hug. Like, if he hugged Kasai. Didn't you mention something about him telling you he loved you back in the professor's lab? Well, he did, but it was more like, I really like you. Have you brought it up with him? I've tried, but talking with him is like talking to a kid. I think he cares about what I'm saying, but I don't think he understands it. I'm, I'm not sure. He understands a lot about this stuff. Every time I talk about hugging or kissing, he's just like, ew, gross. <sighs> What about last night? You guys were just alone in the room we gave you in the Mask Mesa City. There had to have... He slept on the roof and used Steve as a blanket. I swear, he's closer to that lizard than he is with me. He did what? Bearshiki, where are you going? And then I summoned a giant supernova blast from the sun and freaking melted the guy. Holy crap, dude, that's awesome. You just straight up melted him? To a crisp. Well, that's pretty cool, but I should tell you about the time I used the Infinity Gauntlet to fight the Cataclysm. The... Infinity... what? It's like a giant glove with all the powers of every mask imaginable, but all condensed into one super powerful gauntlet. So cool. Whoa, where did you... Emilio! Oh, you're screwed now, dude. What? The emotional torture you're putting that girl through... It's awful! What do you- You slept on the roof of your room because you were too scared to share a room with her. Oh, that is so not cool. I- 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 I don't want to hear it. You go over there, you give her a sincere hug, you- I swear to god, you tell her who you love her. Um, um, yes ma'am. <laughs> Holy cow. He better do exactly what I say or he'll pay severely. For his sake? I really hope he does. I'm sorry. I love you, Ghosty. I don't say it enough, or, well, at all, but... I should. I was never raised in the company of couples and stuff. You see, I was designed to be an asset. Something to be used to do things for people. A service. They wanted to grow us, but fast. So they gave me this thing called an aging matrix. It controls how I age, and they made it go quick. We hit the starts of adolescence at age five, but after finding freedom, I guess, me and a close friend decided we wanted to stay young forever. So we turned off our aging matrixes. A couple years ago, I turned mine back on and set it to age me naturally, like any normal person. So all these thoughts and emotions and ideas, these feelings and wants. I was never taught about this stuff, and it's all new and scary to me. I just got these feelings and thoughts, and I have no idea how to handle them. I'm sorry, Ghosty. It's okay. I had my sister Ghoulie sometimes. She taught me a few things. You never had that. I can help you through all this. I can help you understand. This is one time, Camellia, when I don't you want you to be scared of me. Wow. 
you know, I never would have guessed it, but in your own way, you're kind of good with this stuff. I'm proud of you, hon. I can get anyone to do anything, it just takes the right push and fret. Ghosty's really growing on you, isn't she? You really care about her. The poor girl needs someone to guide her for growing up, because Camilla is going to be absolutely useless for it. Yeah, it's easy to forget sometimes that they're just kids. You better help Camilla grow up. Oh, come on, he's got pro- <sighs> Alright, 